Okay. Time to cook some breakfast. Okay. Yeah, back up. Back up. That's fine. That's fine. Just Now I have watched way too many Ben Awad videos, and if there's one thing I learned from them, it's that every time you get a stupid idea, you should spend and waste hours and days of your life turning it into a VS Code extension. So that's exactly what I did. I decided I want to be able to order pizza anytime at all when I'm coding. I don't want to call a restaurant, I don't want to go onto their website, I just want to be coding in VS Code, hit a button and boom, pizza shows up at my door. And that's exactly what I did. I used a Domino's API, and now I can order Domino's pizza from VS Code whenever I want. Now you're probably yelling at your screen saying, Kyle, that is the stupidest idea. You probably wasted hours and days of your life building this out when you could have just spent that time ordering pizza and ordered pizza every day for the rest of your life and spent less time than you spent building the extension. And while you're most likely correct because I spent way too long on this, what you don't realize is by building out this extension, I can now take this real yummy pizza and write it off on my taxes. But I forgot the fact that I'm lactose intolerant, so I don't even eat pizza, so this was a terrible idea. But I didn't do this for me. I did this for you, so that every time you get a craving to order some pizza, you don't have to leave VS Code. You don't have to pick up a phone. Just hit a button, and boom, it automatically orders it for you. That is the best part. I can now save millions of people time on ordering pizza instead of just saving myself some time. And that is why I built this extension. It's not because I had a stupid idea and I thought I would be cool like Ben Awad. No, it was for you and so that you could eat pizza for the rest of your life. Now, unfortunately, even that I failed at. And that's because this API really only works in the US. It might work in some other places around the US, but it's really particular to just the US. And on top of that, I wasted, oh, I don't even want to think about how much time I wasted building this extension. Just to get the library to run in VS Code took me an entire day to work out. It is not at all intuitive. Not only did I have to start to use TypeScript in order to use this library, because it only supports import-export syntax, and VS Code extensions with TypeScript use import-export, well, without it, they don't. Then I had to do Webpack to be able to compile the code, because again, it really does not like to play well with require syntax, which is all of VS Code that's built out of, so I had to spend so much time making Webpack configs, making TypeScript configs. I don't even use TypeScript for anything else, so it was just a pain to deal with all the TypeScript warnings that kept coming up, because of course, this library doesn't have any TypeScript support, so I had to deal with that on top of it. It was an absolute nightmare. And then came testing. And let me just tell you, it is a nightmare to test something where the only way to test it is to spend money and actually buy a pizza. My wallet, it is crying. I spent so much money buying stupid pizzas that I don't even want and can't even eat just to test out this extension. I had so many failures along the way. Just trying to get it so that I could actually pay cash when the pizza arrived at my door was such a nightmare to figure out and deal with because the library had some weird things that were going on behind the scenes that really caused me a ton of trouble. I even reached out to people that I knew that have worked with this library before, really trying to figure out what to do, and it was just such a nightmare to get that final step of getting it all to work together cohesively like I wanted to, but I'm so glad that I finally got it all to work because it is actually quite slick how it works, so I really want to kind of show you exactly what's going on. So this extension is actually kind of cool how it works. Essentially, I created a multi-step form inside of VS Code, and I also made it so some things that you type out all the time, such as address, email, first name, last name, phone number, those things that never change but are required, you can put them inside of your VS Code config, and they're automatically going to be pulled in. So if I just come in here, and I hit Control shift p and I type in that emergency pizza command, and I hit enter, we're actually going to get an error where it says no nearby stores. So you have to actually type in a valid address. And then it's going to find stores that are nearby and find you the closest store to you. So let me just type in a quick fake address here. And there we go, I now have an address in place. I also removed the email and phone number field just to show you that if these fields are missing, it'll actually ask you for those fields. So if I come in here, I do my emergency pizza command. First thing is you can see, order pizza, we're on step one out of five. We can choose the pizza from this list. Let's say we want a deluxe pizza. Then we have different options for sizing and the crust. So let's just say that we want, you know, a standard hand-tossed medium-sized pizza. And then this is where you can start to enter information about your email. So we'll just enter a bogus email. We can enter in a phone number, bogus phone number here. 
And then you can see it'll calculate out the information for how much this is going to cost. Of course, we got an error because this isn't even actually like a real address. It's just a fake address that I'm using. But if you get to the next step, it is actually going to show you the price. And all you have to do is hit enter and it's going to deliver the pizza to you. It will take, you know, some time. It'll tell you how long it'll take to on that next step, but then it'll deliver the pizza to you. And that is where I got, you know, these pizzas that you see here. I ordered them from this extension. Now, you're probably wondering where I got that really cool multi-step extension from and be able to code it out. Well, let's just say I didn't really code it out. I just went over to this example that I found from VS Code and I essentially copied the code exactly. This is for a multi-step input. And then I realized their code was so different than what I wanted. I essentially had to rewrite the entire thing and I probably spent more time than if I had just wrote it from scratch. So all those people that just copy paste from Stack Overflow, I'm feeling your pain because this was an absolute nightmare when I copy pasted it over because it pretty much didn't do anything at all I wanted it to. I almost wish I just wrote it from scratch to begin with. So why exactly am I telling you all of this? Well, the reason is, is because you should build whatever project you're passionate about. I thought, you know what, it'd be cool to be able to order pizza from VS Code. So I built an extension that allowed me to do it. I don't care about eating pizza. I can't even eat pizza. I don't really care at all about anything about it. I just thought, you know what, I want to build a VS Code extension. Ordering pizza in VS Code, that sounds hilarious. Let me try to do it. So I spent hours and days trying to build this thing, and eventually I came out and built it. If I just told myself, ooh, I want to learn how to build a VS Code extension, I'm going to build a quick to-do list application. I can guarantee you I would have quit after one hour. But since I was excited by this project and thought it was cool, even though I hit roadblocks that were literally Mount Everest sized, it did not matter because I was still enjoying myself since I was passionate about the idea. And that's why I want to share this with you. Find your own idea you're passionate about. I don't care how stupid it is. I don't care how pointless it is. And I don't care how many troubles you run into getting it working. Just find that thing you're passionate about. And I guarantee you, you will build it out to completion because you enjoy the process of building it. And with that said, what other stupid ideas should I build? Let me know down in the comments below because I look forward to seeing what they are.